There are a wide variety of ways to install WordPress. Some hosts simply give you a bare-bones system and ask you to install it yourself. For people who have experience with this, it works fine. But some hosts have a built-in system to install WordPress to make it as easy as possible. For people with less experience, or those who simply want a website and don't care about the technical details, this is perfect. In this video, we're going to take a look at a host that offers one of those streamlined experiences. And it's GoDaddy. Before we get going, I want to show you something cool that I learned here, though. I'm logged into GoDaddy under my account, but we're going to be working under the account of Steve from OS Training. Rather than give me his username and password, he was able to give my account access to his account. So I simply click on Account Settings and go to Delegate Access. And from here, I could give access to other people, or I can access Steve's account. If you work with clients who are on GoDaddy, or you have a developer that has an account on GoDaddy, rather than the developer having the username and password, they can simply get account access. This makes it much easier to revoke access when the project is done. But let's take a look at their managed WordPress hosting. There's a link right here, and we're going to click Manage. Now on this page, you simply click Add a Site. And here we can choose to build a new site or migrate an existing site. I'm going to choose to build a brand new site. Here you can pick a domain name or you can use a temporary domain name. The temporary domain name allows you to get started without having to worry about a domain name yet. You can choose a data center. Honestly, this only matters a little bit. The internet is pretty fast everywhere. That said, if you're in North America, choose that one. And if in Europe, choose that one. And now we're going to create our WordPress username and password. This actually does take a few minutes, so we're going to edit out some of this time. And there we are. Now we can either go to the WordPress dashboard, or we click Get Started. If you go to the dashboard, it's exactly what you'd expect. You get the WordPress dashboard. But if we click Get Started, something entirely new happens. We have the option here to do a wizard. If you choose No Thanks, then you're taken directly to WordPress. But if we click Continue, then we can choose a wide variety of things. But if we click Start Wizard, then we can choose a wide variety of things. What this is actually doing is configuring WordPress settings. So if you're familiar with WordPress, keep in mind that this form is really just helping you through the settings. If you choose Website and Blog, then your blog is going to be on a page other than your home page. If you choose blog only, then your blog is the home page. And if you choose online store, then your site comes pre-configured with a few temporary products. I'm going to choose website and blog, and you can choose an industry. This helps them set you up with a default theme. Then you can set a title, tagline, email, etc. This contact information actually gets saved as WordPress options and goes into a widget that they provide for you so that you can put it into your footer or sidebar or whatever. Then you can associate social profiles with your account. You can do it with as many as you see here. Simply click an icon and put in the information. Next we can choose a theme. You can choose any that you see here, and if you wish, you can easily change it later. The themes here in GoDaddy selection also include some pre-designed page layouts with content and images. This can save you some time when building a site. This actually makes it nicer than simply choosing a theme off of WordPress.org. It gives you a jump start on where you're going. We'll choose Velux for now. What that does is take us directly into the WordPress customizer. Here we can choose a header. Click Next. You'll see that we can go through and do some other options. But for now, we're just going to choose Select. And it's installing our theme. Now that our website is set up, it takes us back to the customizer for more configuration. You can learn about the customizer in other OS training videos, so we're not going to go into that now. GoDaddy provides a wizard here which tells you how to use some of their tools. Once you're done configuring, you can simply click this X and the customizer will go away and it takes you right to the admin area. 
Now that we're done with the wizard, we can open up our home page. And there it is. Our WordPress install is complete. And we didn't have to worry about FTP or databases or anything like that. All we had to do was make some choices. And for those who simply want a website, this is wonderful.